Hello everybody, welcome to another journal with me video. I'm sorry this one is a little bit later than usual. We've had a work going on on our road this past week so it's been a little bit hard to record a voiceover because it's been like house shaking level of work going on. So yes, slightly difficult to record any sound. I'm recording this in the evening. Um, the neighbours' children are playing in the garden so you may also hear some background noises of, I don't know, joy and happiness and such. But that's better than like the d -d 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 drills we've had all week. Anyway, uh, let's talk about what I'm doing. Starting off in my junk journal, I think I mentioned doing this page last week actually, it's going to be like a bee and nature themed page. I've printed some photos off on my HP sprocket and then I also use my phone memo printer to print out some text which is about one of the pictures. Um, various little pictures of critters and stuff. Um, if you're a regular to my channel, you know I take so much joy and delight in the little things of wildlife. They just bring me so much happiness and I'm forever rescuing things that I see in trouble, little butterflies or whatever. So that's what this page is gonna be about. I was also playing around with, I bought the new distress color, the saltwater taffy. So I'm playing with that as well, which is, a gorgeous pink that works really nicely in this page I think. I brought out my bees, butterflies and birds sticker book to add some bee stickers. Did a little bit of stamping on that pocket but I'm not over keen on it but you can't really see it. I'm going around those bees with the distress, the salt water taffy because I love that sticker book, don't get me wrong, but so many of the stickers have a huge white border on them, and I don't mind a white border on stickers, like my stickers from my shop have a white border on them, because they need to for cutting errors and stuff, but these ones are enormous, so yeah, I always have to make an effort to colour them in some way, shape or form. Um, what I'm going to do, I was, obviously that page had a pocket sort of built into it, so I'm making myself a little pull-out journal card to use. I pulled out, um, I think it's a Daphne's Diary page, that yellow floral one, and then on the re reverse is just some old packaging. I've put them together to make them nice and sturdy. Again, going around the edges with that saltwater taffy because it's so pretty. On this side of the little card, I'm gonna do a really simple thing about these little ground bees we have in our garden. They are, We f kept seeing these little mounds in the garden with a hole in them. First we're like, oh no, we've got ants. But then we looked them up and they were ground bees. And I think, oh, what was the official name of them? Hang on. Okay, it's a tawny mining bee. And that's what I printed off on that little thing of text on my phone memo. Printer was just like a little thing I got from Wikipedia or whatever about what a tawny mining bee is. They're super cute going out in and out of their little holes and they don't do any damage and they've already left. Like they, they build those little things and they lay their eggs and go and collect pollen, you know, blah, blah, blah. They do all their stuff and then they leave by the end of spring and ours are already gone so yeah just a little page about that because I thought they were super cute and then on the other page I have some various rescues that I have performed over the past couple of weeks in our new house um I have there's a bee that I rescued it was the biggest bumblebee I have ever seen in my entire life it was huge and it had it was drowning bless it in this little thing of water so I scooped it out and like got him on a plant and gave him some sugar water, which he slurped up with his little thing that comes out, little slurpy thing, slurped that up, and then I watched him for a good half an hour or more, drying himself off, and waited until he flew away and he was fine. And then I also rescued a toad. <laughs> Literally opened my door one evening, I think I was taking the bins out or something, and there's this toad just on the doorstep. I was like, hello, you right? And he was really, really dry and didn't look very happy. So I scooped him up, not in my hands, um, with some garden tools and gently put him to like a safer part of the garden because right on the doorstep, you know, he's a bit vulnerable. And then the other thing was a butterfly, which in the picture you can see was actually on my hand, which was like super special. Um, they are, what are they called? I wrote this down as well. Small tortoiseshell butterflies. Apparently they, um, they like overwinter in people's houses or in buildings. They like come in as adults and go completely dormant. And then when it warms up, they start waking up or whatever. And since we've moved in, we keep finding these butterflies just in the house. Anyway, so this one, I was trying to like scoop it up to rescue it and it just crawled onto my hand and stayed there for ages. I was like, oh, this is precious. This is amazing. So yes. I'm sorry if I'm talking too much about the events and not the actual journaling, but as I said, I take so much delight in little things like that. They bring me so, so much happiness. So I had to do a little journaling spot 
with that. I used a Tim Holtz journaling card to add like an extra tipping because I needed some more, some more space to add my journaling. Um, the rescues I wrote at the top there, um, those little cardstock stickers like that, I find they come off really easily. So I always put like a thin, little bit of double sided tape down onto what I want to stick the letters on and then stick them onto that as well, just because it's more secure that way. And as you see, I added various little bits of collage, scraps of paper and such. And I've got my cute little journaling card with a tip in flip out part and just slotted really nicely into that little pocket. So that's that page done. Um, this next page, firstly, I need to apologize for the lighting. You can see like one part of the screen has a bit of sunlight on it. I'm still getting used to how it's working in my new studio, how the light works and everything. And I didn't realize at that time of day that the sun is so bright that it kind of overtakes my studio light. So I didn't fully realize that was happening and I wasn't gonna refilm it. So there we go. I will figure these things out as we go. So this page is about, um, I got a whole load of Ikea furniture for the new house. Most of it was for my craft room slash studio, but I got a couple of bits for my bedroom. I got a new bed, a cabinet and a rug. And my favorite thing was that the Ikea rug came with Ikea instructions. I found that the most hilarious thing. So I'm including that in my journal. I just folded it up. I ripped away all the bits that I didn't need, folded it up, put it in that little pre-made pocket. I don't know where that's from. It was just in my stash. Uh, added the journaling onto the top of that where there's some handy lines there and adding some various little bits of washi tape for areas of interest and stuff. The washi tape has like little scissors and embroidery things on it. So I don't know, I was trying to make it related to making home or something like that. And then the picture is just a picture of the curtains in my bedroom that I put up all by myself. Thank you, please. Um, and I think the backing was just a backing card from some earrings I bought at a craft fair or something like that. I just thought it was really cute. So yeah, put the picture on that. Again, that was printed on my sprocket. I wanted some more journaling space though. So I ripped up some bits of this lined craft paper. I think that was from a lollipop kit from the lollipop box club. I'm pretty sure it was. And Lisa, if you're watching, I need like a zillion more of those papers because I use them all the time and I think I'm out now. So yes, some more please. I am using Distress Oxide Brush Corduroy on this page to add the whole vintagey distressed feel. And I think, oh, I added the staples as well. I didn't really need them. I just like the look of staples on pages. It just, you know, it makes it look a bit more ha hazard as if you actually have stapled them onto the page. And I think, is that going to be everything I do to this page? It's a really simple one, but I do like the way it all comes together and turns out and kind of the craft almost matches the page next to it, but they're still two very separate pages, which I quite like. So yeah, there I'm going to add my journaling. Oh, and I added a little funny phrase sticker to behind the Ikea instructions. I think it's one of the Diane Reevely Dilutions ones. It says something, what does it say? It says, butter my buns and call me a biscuit. I just thought it was funny because of the, the Ikea rug instructions. Just, I'm still amused by that. Like, here is how to, what, build the rug? I just, anyway. Just doing a little check over of those pages to make sure I'm happy with everything. And even if I'm not, I'll go back at another time, maybe. Sometimes I even go back to pages even months later and think, I should have put a sticker in that little spot there. And I, you know, I add it. Why not? Um, on these pages, I'm going to play around with my latest sticker collection in my Etsy shop, which is called Books and Tea. I'm trying to make it a habit to always like set aside a page or a time in my journal to really play with my own products because. If I don't set aside that time, then I just forget to do it. Because I'm always trying to remember, like, YouTube, shop, do this, do that. And don't remember to use my own products. So, yes, that's what I'm doing here. Little pieces I pulled out for background. Again, those are from Daphne's Diary Things. One, that piece there, I, like, two, three, four, I don't know how many years ago, I bought the Daphne's Diary Diary. And I only used it for not even half the year. Um, but it was so pretty and I kept all the insides that I hadn't used and stuff. So that's what I've got there. You can see it says shopping list on it or something, which I will cover up. I brought back that saltwater taffy color because I thought that lovely pink would go nicely with, especially the tea part of the collection. Chose some washi that I thought would work and I'm putting it across the middles as well. The middles, there's only one the middle of the page to add little like shelves to put the books and teacups 
on. I think the tape with the gold foiling and the polka dot skinny tape are both Maggie Holmes ones, and then the the plain sort of beigey coloured one is one of those uh, sort of block colour empty washi tapes. Uh, so yeah, as I said, I'm creating little shelves to put my books and tea on. I'm going to go round all the pieces again with the salt water taffy oxide. Sorry, I just heard a noise and I feel like my cat's trying to come in the room, but he can push the door open if he needs to. Uh, so yeah, this collection, fairly obvious. It's got uh, books and teacups and little teapots in it. And that's pretty much it. I just, two of my favourite things in the world are books and tea. So I wanted to make some stickers with those things on. I think there was a C.S. Lewis quote, which is something like you could never get a book long enough or a cup of tea large enough to suit me. And yeah, pretty much. Yep. That, that's me. So, and it's kind of a mix of like the teacups are kind of quite modern-y and then the books are really, really old fashioned. So it's a bit of a mix. But if you don't like old-fashioned or you don't like modern like you only like one or the other then you can get a sheet with just the tea stuff on or a sheet with just the book stuff on. I have been working hard in the background on creating some new things for the shop as well so keep an eye out for those bits. I have a sort of botanical wildflower one coming and I also oh I forgot to tell you when I was doing the bee page uh, it completely inspired me um, that I wanted some bee stickers so I have pretty much finished all the artwork for that so that will come hopefully in a month, roughly, because I want to do the flowers first. But yeah, so there's going to be some bee stickers and some more floral stickers, because floral stickers are just, you know, I love floral stickers. Anyway, what am I doing here? This, oh, I snipped off like the title from the top of the sticker sheet so I could put it down on my journal page, because obviously I'm going to write about the collection and why I created it and stuff like that. And then on this opposite page, as you can see, is really, really pretty as it is. So I've just done a few little scraps, stapled them together, and I'm going to glue them on. And then I have these journal stickers that I created for this collection um, with the same book covers for the book stickers. Uh, these journal stickers, you've probably seen them before. Um, they fold in on themselves, so you have like a little mini book within your journal or planner or wherever you put it. I discovered um, the best way to do those is to fold them before you peel the backing off. Um, because I didn't do that first and I was thinking these are so hard to fold like I can't sell them like this like I'm making a right kerfuffle of this but if you fold them before you peel them so much easier so I used that for a really itty bitty witty mini journaling spot and added a little bit of collage to the opposite side with some washi and a vintage stamp and I'm going to add a few little rub-ons here and here is where I had a little reminder that it's been a while since I've been journaling. I had all that time off of not doing anything creative and forgot that you can't put a rub on over washi. It doesn't work. <sighs> Just numpty me. Anyway, I added my journaling um, using my fancy new pen. I bought the 2022 Special Edition Lamy Safari, the cream one. Um, I didn't get the red one because I wasn't really feeling that one, but I had to have the cream one. So that was my first time using that pen as well. Very exciting. So last off, as I often do in these videos, I'm going to do a page in my onion skin journal. Sorry, I got distracted there again. And I've just realised my cat is actually creeping on me. Like he's coming into the room, opening the door and then sitting behind me until I look at him and then runs away to make me think I'm going mad. But no, yeah, he's creeping. But as ever with my onion skin journal, I like to do really simple usually vintage inspired collage with washi tape and bits and pieces from my own kits from my shop. I have two little boxes that I keep on my desk that are kind of handy to use little bits um, like stickers from that I put in the in the journal kits and little scraps of paper and stuff and also little leftover scraps like the really tiny scraps that you should probably throw away. I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbour's dogs barking, they're quite loud sometimes. And yeah, that's what I use in my onion skin journal, or tend to use anyway, like I use it as inspiration to start off. And I added one of the journal, like journaling spot stickers into here as well, because I thought the red one, the one with the red cover would go really, really nicely. And again, I brought back that uh, brush corduroy colour in the Distress Oxide to go around things and make them all matchy-matchy and vintagey and whatnot. Oh my goodness, doggies, will you please stop barking? I swear I am cursed this week when it comes to recording anything just all of the noise has been happening ah <sighs> anyway uh adding a few little clusters of stickers adding a rub on in that that little awkward space in the top left there was really really annoying me and i had to add something to it so just a little rub on 
up they're layering up that look I really like that cluster actually so it's a scrap of that craft line paper with a printed vellum piece over the top stapled together with the journal sticker on top and then I added like that scissor embroidery sticker behind it I just I particularly like that cluster now I will use all that white space to add my journaling but I don't think I add it in this video sometimes I like to create a page to journal on even if I don't feel like journaling in that moment because then if I really do feel like journaling but can't be bothered with the stickers and stuff then it's there and it's ready to go I think I have since written something in it I think the pictures will show that but yeah there we go last little page for the video uh, thank you so so much for watching as always relevant links to products I have used plus my shop products I've mentioned will be in the description box please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed chat to me down in the comments and yeah I'm gonna go wish me luck that next week is uh, quieter and I can get some more filming done okay thank you again bye bye